Uh, this is from the Ogress and the Orphans. <clears throat> People recalled the arrival of the mayor like it was something out of a storybook. They remembered the click of his fine boots as he sauntered across the cobblestones and the sweep of his great coat and the audacious twinkling of his eyes. Each time he spoke, he thrilled them to their bones. He set up a booth during market day with a sign that said, world famous dragon hunter. Inquiries and adulation accepted. Well, remarked the butcher and the blacksmith and the tailor. World famous, you say? Huh. Well, I am certainly convinced. What a lucky town, exclaimed the cobbler and the apothecary and the constable, to host so noble a guest. What a lucky town, indeed. They couldn't rest their eyes away from the world famous dragon hunter. He, he dazzled their gaze. They shivered each time he spoke. By sheer serendipity, several dragon sightings <laughs> were reported in the weeks just following his arrival, and they continued month after month. What a lucky coincidence to have a world-famous dragon hunter in their very midst at the very time when an unknown number of dragons became lurking, began lurking in the woods nearby. Each time they saw the dragon hunter emerge victorious from the wo woods, the dragon once again driven away and nowhere to be seen, the townspeople erupted in cheers. They elected him mayor. They re-elected him every year, a landslide every time. After a while, though, the dragon sightings dwindled and then became haphazard and eventually mostly ceased. No doubt the dragon hunter's reputation had frightened them off. And while the townspeople prided themselves on the mayor's beauty and charisma and bravery, and while they still loved to say to the town's visitors, he defeated a dragon, you know. He defeated so many dragons. Over time, his shine began to dull just a bit until their library burned and then the school and then building after building after building until the trees died and the shade vanished and that sinkhole took the park. How they looked to their mayor then how they needed him then. Their world had become quite quickly chaotic and dangerous and mean. Their mayor seemed to have all the answers. I can fix it, he promised. I alone can fix it. They pressed their hands to their hearts when they heard him speak, emotion swelling in their chests. Their eyes became wide and their smiles became stiff and their faces turned to their mayor in a state of adulation and static joy. Indeed, one could say that the fire in the library was the very best thing, the very best thing that had ever happened to the mayor. A lucky coincidence, even. 